Britney Spears. Britney Spears. And Britney Spears. Britney Spears. Hi, this is Jello Salad. With Britney Spears' much-awaited tell-all memoir, The Woman in Me, already flying off the shelves, we're here to answer the biggest questions on everybody's mind about the Princess of Pop and her record-breaking career as one of history's most influential and troubled music icons. Let's get into it. The realization, you know, when you're famous and you can't go back, that's really weird for me. It's no secret that Britney wants the world to know her side of the story. But who will be the lucky person to get Spears to sit down for the much-awaited interview? Oh my gosh, I can't wait. The world needs Britney to tell her story in her own words. Agreed. We still don't have the answer, but we know she wants to do it with someone she trusts and has known for a long time. We think she might sit down with Drew Barrymore because Drew was at Britney's wedding and she has her own talk show. Barrymore can probably relate because as a young child, she dealt with similar issues, even emancipating herself from her parents at age 14. Britney Spears, we're all listening, so I'm really excited for your book. The last time Britney performed was on New Year's Eve 2017 in Las Vegas. Will she ever grace the stage again? The Britney Spears domination tour in 2019 would have played 32 shows at the MGM in Las Vegas, but citing her father's health issues and recovery as the reason, she canceled the whole thing. Thing. And according to Rolling Stone in 2022, the answer is still probably no. Spears says she'll probably never perform again, and that I'm pretty traumatized. Wow, and I just learned that the 2017 New Year's Eve show broke the record for the highest grossing single concert in a theater residency ever in Las Vegas. She's a queen. Britney's self-imposed hiatus undoubtedly impacted her career. Imagine where she could have been if she had continued her chart domination uninterrupted. Britney Spears dominated the charts for over a decade, even while under the conservatorship, but her career is currently on hold. She may not return to performing anytime soon, and by her own admission, music is not my focus. So we're waiting for Britney's comeback then? Absolutely. The Spearsons? The Britissons. Um, we'll workshop that. The issue of Britney's conservatorship captured headlines. What the heck is a conservatorship and how did it affect her? A conservatorship is a legal status in which a court appoints a person to manage the financial and personal affairs of a minor or an incapacitated person. So who decided Britney was incapacitated? Seems fishy. Exactly. It's a long story, but the conservatorship was supposed to be temporary after her public breakdowns, i.e. shaved head, umbrella, but it ended up being 13 years long. It was the darkest chapter of her life, she said. The conservatorship stripped me of my womanhood and made me into a child. The February 2007 head shaving incident shocked the world. Was it a cry for help or a brave act of defiance? Let's hear what Brittany in her own words says about this. I went into a hair salon and I took the clippers and I shaved off all my hair. Everyone thought it was hilarious. Look how crazy she is. Even my parents acted embarrassed by me, but nobody seemed to understand that I was simply out of my mind with grief. My children had been taken away from me. Britney's mental health struggles have been well documented, but what exactly has she been diagnosed with and how has it affected her music career? In an Instagram post, she revealed how much she struggles with her mental health based on what's happened to her in the past. From what we know, she's been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. I'm here, I'm happy and I'm well, and uh, that's it, that's it. Britney's viral twirling and dancing videos have left some wondering if she's reliving her glory days. Or maybe she's trapped in a time loop, reliving her iconic toxic era. Sure, they're pretty vulnerable posts, and they don't have the gloss of her music videos, but the world has embraced them. She claims she makes her IG reels out of pure joy, and she's also mentioned that it's the only time she doesn't feel pain. In an Instagram post, she says that she has nerve damage on the right side of her body, and that there's no cure except for God. The transformation from an innocent schoolgirl to a provocative performer was a shock to fans. Where did all of this come from? It's no secret the music industry pressures women artists to embody sex and beauty, and Britney's no exception. Embracing her more provocative side certainly helped accelerate her career. Liberated Britney, she's my fave Britney actually. Me too. If you got it, flaunt it, right?
Britney's infamous 2003 kiss with Madonna left tongues wagging. Was there more to it than just a shocking performance? Yes, actually. Jennifer Lopez was originally supposed to perform with Britney and Madonna, but she was filming in Canada. The kiss was all Madonna's idea from the get-go, and it was a big secret that only a few of the VMA producers knew about until it made history on live television. Being on stage with someone of that caliber is just you know, iconic and just wonderful to be able to do. The relentless paparazzi pursuit has undeniably impacted Britney's life, but did it shape her eccentric public image and drive her mad? They're the worst, but it's an unfortunate reality of the celebrity lifestyle. She's had many ups and downs in the public eye, especially with the paparazzi. Move! Move, hey guys, come on, guys! The media was terrible to Britney back in the day and absolutely affected her public persona and career. If they ask about it in interviews and stuff, I just say it's none of your business. <laughs> and there you have it, our deep dive into the top unanswered questions about the singular career of the princess of pop, Britney Spears. But I have so many more questions. Well, you're in luck because we have a whole other video about the top unanswered questions about Britney's life. As her journey continues to unfold, we'll be right here to shed light on the mysteries surrounding her life. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell to join us for more Jello Salad. Until, Until next time! time.